They say that the eyes are the window to the soul. In fact, a lot of emotion can be seen by a person's eyes. You can tell whether they're happy or sad. You can see fear. You can see anger just in the eyes alone. But what if there was a legend of an entity out there that was so demonic, that was so creepy, that its eyes were purely black? But before we go any further, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and give us a like. We also have a Patreon account that you can follow below in the link if you wanna help support the channel. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce and today we're gonna to talk about Black Eyed Kids. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, this was not the story that I was going to give you today. I took a slight turn in my story for you today because yesterday I had the privilege of being on David Zublik's channel to discuss with him the RH negative blood group and its possible connection to the draconian people. Now, I will link David's channel below and I will air that episode here on our channel once it's available. So having that deep conversation with David yesterday got me really thinking about everything I have experienced, which we did talk about in our RH Negative video, again, I'll link below, and what it means to, to carry this particular bloodline that has so much mystery around it. We obviously discussed certain videotape and footage of people, especially people in powerful positions in the world, who tend to have the ability, according to this alleged footage, to shapeshift. We also see in a lot of the footage, especially a picture of Queen Elizabeth II, that sometimes something happens to their eyes. Now with Queen Elizabeth's picture, her eye appears to be black. And as I was laying in bed early this morning, I could not stop thinking about the connection between the RH negative blood group and the possibility of the reality of there being a being, a beast, a demon, whatever you want to call it, called a black eyed kid. Now, the first time I ever heard of Black Eyed Kids was in one of my favorite podcasts, and this was a few years ago, and this is the podcast Murder, Myth, Mystery. Now, I have spoken about this podcast before, and I will link to their website below. And I have to admit, when I first heard of Black Eyed Kids, it terrified me. So what are Black Eyed Kids? Well, Black Eyed Kids are beings that appear to be children and they usually come in pairs of two. These children can be in between the ages of 5 and 16 years old. Now they're usually seen either hitchhiking for rides or panhandling or will show up at your door in the middle of the night. These children are typically dressed in modern day hoodies and jeans. Now, when they come to your door or to your car, or if you meet them on the street while they're hitchhiking, they will keep their head down and they usually are asking you for something. Now, for people who've experienced these black eyed kids, they all say that right before they come into contact with the children, they get this horrible feeling. Now, after they've opened their door up to the banging on the door or their car door, and again, the child is being very forceful and asking to use their phone or come in, it is usually at that moment that the person coming into contact with the child will notice that their whole eye is black. Now, I'm not, I'm talking about everything, no iris, nothing, all black. What is also apparent about these children is that they cannot come into your house unless you grant them permission. They also cannot come into your car or come into anything that is within your space unless you give them permission to do so. 
And for a lot of people, when they recounted their stories, they say that when they put their foot down and say no, that is when the child starts to act crazy and demand to come inside. Now, a lot of people believe that the black-eyed kid is a new phenomenon, a new paranormal phenomenon from the modern ages. In fact, it was in 1996 that a journalist from Texas named Brian Bethel recorded his interactions with two black-eyed kids. You see, again, this was 1996. We didn't have cell phones then. We The internet was very new. And so for young people watching this, what Brian did that night was he drove to the actual internet service to pay his bill. Now again, this was between 9.30 and 10.30 in the evening, and so he was going to write a check and put the check in the drop box for his account. Super common thing to do back in the 90s. Now, when Brian pulled up in front of the internet business, he stopped his car, got his checkbook out, there was a movie theater across the road. Now at this time, the movie theater was playing the movie Mortal Kombat. So as Brian was writing the check, he heard a knock at his window. When he looked up, he saw two boys between the ages of nine and 12. He slowly rolled the window down and both boys told him that they wanted to watch the movie Mortal Kombat. However, when they got to the theater, they realized they didn't have money and they needed Brian to drive the boys back to their mother's house so they could pick up some money. Brian says that he felt extremely uneasy. However, he went to open up his car door to help these two children who were in danger, and that is when he noticed that both of them had completely black eyes. At that moment, Brian slammed the car door shut and hit the gas and drove off. When he turned around to look out the rear view window, he noticed that the boys were gone. After telling a few friends about his experience, his story started to go viral. Now, of course, in the 90s, we didn't have that word viral, but that's what happened. And then in 2014, another black eyed kid phenomenon happened in Stratfordshire, England. Now, this is super interesting because Stratfordshire seems to be a bit of a vortex for black eyed kids. In fact, I will link a website below with a ton of testimony from citizens in Stratfordshire who have experienced these black eyed kids, but one in particular caught my attention. It seems that around this time, 2014, a woman and her child were out walking in the fields, just enjoying nature. All of a sudden, they heard this terrified scream come out of what sounded like a child. They ran in the direction of the scream and they saw a little girl standing there who appeared to be six years old. Now when they got to the child to see what the matter was, the little girl looked at them with black eyes and turned and ran away. Now the real peculiar thing is that it seems that this black-eyed child, this six-year-old child, had been around in 1980 as well. She never aged she had stayed six. The person telling this story is quick to say that no, this child was not a ghost. It wasn't like she was seeing an apparition, which would make more logical sense. This was a child of flesh and bone. In fact, if you just do a quick Google search of black eyed kids, you will see people having crazy experiences all over the world. Doesn't matter if you're in America or Europe or Africa or Asia, there are people who have seen these entities and all of them have had the exact same experience. Now, a lot of people believe that the story of black eyed kids is what is called creepypasta. Creepypasta is a term for a story that's kind of like an urban legend. It's like an internet urban legend. They claim that people are taking this paranormal story meant to scare people, copy and pasting it and putting it out all over the internet. And granted, it might be creepypasta. However, I have my doubts. I've had a lot of paranormal experiences. We've talked about that on this channel. I understand that there is more happening in our reality than we are aware of. And so if my suspicions are correct and this is real, then there has to be a history of this being. This being 
probably has been around a lot longer than 1996. So I started to dig a little bit. And what I found confirmed what I believe. Now in the RH negative video, we talked a lot about the Book of Enoch and the Sumerians and how they were aware that there was a being that came down from the heavens, whether that be a fallen angel or an alien, who knows? This being came down and mated with human women. This apparently is what created the RH negative bloodline, which again is the bloodline of our dynastical families as well as all of our presidents and a lot of our celebrities. So as I started researching Black Eyed Children, I found a legend that says a bit of the same thing, except for this legend comes from the Iroquois Native Americans. Now the Iroquois Native Americans was a Native American Federation in the Northeast area of the United States. Now the Iroquois believed in basically the same thing as most of our religions and spiritual practices, that there is good and there is bad. There is a light energy, there is a dark energy. There is God, there is the devil. It's all the same thing. Now the Iroquois spoke about this dark force that would come and possess their people. They called this force Atkan. Now I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not saying that right, please let me know down in the comments below. But the Atkan was a dark energy. Now get this. The Atkan was also described as being a reptilian like being or a snake man. And you can see this in a lot of their artwork. Now the Iroquois believed that the Atkan could possess children and could potentially mate with human women, a bit like the Book of Enoch. They believed that sometimes if the child went into the wilderness alone, they would come back and they would possess black eyes. They believed at that point the Atkan had attacked the child and stolen the child's soul only to replace the child's body with the dark presence of the Atkan. Children who became possessed by Atkan and had the dark eyes ended up being hungry for human flesh. Very similar to a lot of the cannibalistic alleged behavior of our global elite, AKA Anthony Weiner's laptop. If you don't understand that reference, again, I will attach that video below as well. Now the Iroquois also again believed that the Otcon could mate with female, with human females from their federation. Now they also believed that when the Atkan mated with these women, that the women weren't doing this out of their own free will. Again, a bit like the Book of Enoch. The Atkan would hypnotize the woman and force her to mate with him. When the woman became pregnant, usually the baby was born with black eyes. Now because of the fear that the Iroquois had Regarding the power of the Atkan, after the baby was born and its eyes were revealed to be black, they usually would kill the baby and then burn the baby so that the baby could not be resurrected. So did the Iroquois know something about these black-eyed kids that we don't know? Is there a hidden knowledge behind the black-eyed kids that's a bit like the reptilian families of Europe and for naysayers that believe this is completely bunk, how many coincidences do there have to be before it becomes mathematically impossible to be a coincidence? You can't tell me that over in the Middle East, they were writing the book of Enoch about fallen angels mating with human beings while over in the Americas, the Iroquois were saying the exact same thing. What truth did our ancestors know about the reality of life that has been stripped and taken from us? Now in my conversation with David yesterday, towards the end of the conversation, we did touch a little bit on Native Americans. Because you see, 
For me, as a person of European descent, all I know is about the Rh negative bloodline from my own heritage. All I know is my own experiences that cannot be explained by modern day science. But it does seem that not just with the Iroquois, but with a lot of the Native American people, they carried the same legends. So riddle me this, skeptics. If it's all nonsense, how come humanity's ancestors have the same stories? Ancestors that didn't even know of each other's existence. Now I'm planning on continuing more conversations with David, so hopefully we can dive a little bit deeper into this as time goes on. But for those of you out there who are maybe a little bit afraid of black-eyed kids, I will say this. It is more likely to experience a black-eyed kid in the suburbs. They don't tend to come to the cities. With that being said, that's just a general rule. Doesn't mean they aren't in the cities, but you are more likely to experience them where there's less people around. And as I myself live right in the middle of a city, if you go to the suburbs or a small town, there's also less lighting, less ways of being discovered for what or who they really are. It appears that these children are not children. Maybe at one point they were. Maybe they were children of the past who got possessed by a dark entity and they stopped growing. They were kept at their age, the physical age, in order to do whatever damage they're here to do. Because you see, the darkness knows that for the most part, humanity is good. And it's since the beginning of time, the darkness has been trying to claim whatever soul they can from the positive. Now, for humanity to see a child in need, most people will react. Most adult humans would bring a child in need into their home in a heartbeat. However, if your gut is telling you something is wrong, or if the beings tend to have completely black eyes. My advice to you is to shut the door. Don't let them in. They are not children anymore. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. The original story I was gonna bring to you today, I will bring you later in the week because it's, it's quite fascinating. Um, let me know, have you ever experienced a black-eyed kid? Have you heard of someone who has? I am aware that there's also white-eyed kids as well, but I don't know much about those. So if you know about those, let me know because I would love to know about those children too. All right, thank you to Josh McKay for doing our music and to Todd Roderick for helping me edit. Again, a link to David's channel will be listed below and I will see you guys soon. Bye.